Welcome to Brando Consulting. In this video, we're going to go over the simple steps of creating a new sales order. First of all, go to the top left hand area, select Sales, and then Sales Order. That will take you to the Sales Order screen. Next step, go to the top left hand corner, click New. That will put your cursor in the Customer field. Begin entering the customer's name and Fishbowl will narrow down the list. Select the customer and follow the cursor to the Quantity field. Enter the quantity that you want to sell. Click Tab or click in the Next field and begin entering either a keyword from the description or begin typing in the part number. Select a part and Fishbowl will automatically add it. Repeat these steps as many times as you need to until all of your parts are added to the sales order. Enter the quantity. Begin typing in the part. To narrow down the list, select the part. Now sometimes you may get this pop-up. Currently we have a setting turned on that will search for quantity available. In this case, the part that we selected did not have quantity available. So Fishbowl is asking us if we want to add the part to the sales order, regardless of the fact that it's not currently available to sell. We have some options here to choose from. I'm going to click Add Anyway. This just means that we're still going to sell it. Okay. The next step is change the fulfillment date to the date to predict having this part available. When we looked at this part previously, there was a lead time of a few days. So if we purchase this part today, it will be available by next week. And we'll change the ship date for all the parts to next week. Do what works best for you, but it's important to put this fulfillment date and the fulfillment date on each part to a realistic date. If we scroll to the right, you'll see that each individual part has a, its own scheduled fulfillment date, so you can schedule each one as well. Click on the Details tab, check your carrier. Make sure you select the carrier that you'd like, and check all the other fields to assure they are filled in the way you want them to be filled in. Okay, the very last step of creating a new sales order is to change it from the estimate status to an issued status. Currently, if we save this sales order, it will not show up on the picking screen. To get it to show up on the picking screen and turn it into an actual order, we go to the top left hand corner and click. This will change the status to issued and now you have a sales order. You can email this sales order or print out the sales order. Let's take a look at what would be emailed if you emailed it. Here is the sales order that would be attached to the email if you emailed it. Thank you for joining us today at the simple steps of creating a new sales order.